Soliton.com. I'm here with Mark Mezzanet at Alton Music Festival. Hi, how are Hi. you? Good. So happy to be here. Yeah, thanks for coming here. No, it's my it pleasure. Nice to have you. So how was your set so far? Well, it was nice. Um, I played in Bedrock Stage. Yeah. And it was like more underground music. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed so much playing out with a lot of friends, you know. It was, my stage was kind of hidden from other ones, kind of was in the corner. But the sound system was amazing and I had so much fun. The people here are so nice. Yeah, so to, to the people who aren't too familiar with your style of music, how would you describe it? Well, I think it's kind of a deep techno, kind of with progressive sounds. It's called, I don't know, it's between tech house, techno, with melodies, something more dark. It's kind of, it's underground. Really so when, when did you start producing music? I started when I was really early, when I was 11 years old. Yeah. It's really young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm getting 30 in two weeks. So You're getting started with 30. 30. So yeah. I mean, I mean, making music almost all my life. And I started playing the piano. I studied seven years of piano. Wow. That's and amazing. then I started DJing when I was 14. And then, I'm, like, producing, I made my own label. So it's been kind of a long, a long career. So what got you into, you know, producing and, you know, doing deep house? What do, you, what do you mean? What got you, like, why did you start? I, mean, I don't know, when I, when I was young, I loved electronic music. Since I, since I was, when I was six years old, I was listening to Kapwer and kind of Alan Parsons project, all, all kind of music. Because my dad used to work in a record shop, so I got a lot of vinyls in my house. And I was a kid playing with them. Yeah, yeah. So I was throwing all his vinyls. He got mad sometimes, but I enjoy it. And I don't know why. I mean, since I was a child, I love electronic music. I, I don't know. I, I can tell you why. It's just a passion I've been having all my life. So when you make your music and when you're playing it during live sets, what do you want your listeners to take away from it? I really want the listeners to listen to story, not random tracks. One of the things they I don't like of uh, DJs, like those DJs that play like, random tracks, they are not telling you anything, they're just okay. These, these, uh, you know, I like to make the people like feel story, like they can in the beginning like, feel more chill and go up, be moments of happiness, like more powerful moments, yeah. you know, hands in the air, and finish like happy. That's the story I really want. So, what are your inspirations for these stories? Like, you have it, you know, set out in your mind, and you, you know, pick out tracks and songs to so create those feelings. Yeah, usually what I do is like I like to have a mind like the first two or three songs. I think that's okay. the most important so, thing. Yeah. And then yeah. and then it depends on the crowd. Say I'm gonna go this way or this other one. But I, I like to prepare the first three tracks, okay. and then nobody knows who's gonna end up because sometimes you know it could be crazy, yeah, more deep, or more deeper. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so where have you been around the world? I'm sure you've been, you know. I'm, I'm been been like in this. Australia, Canada, Mexico, Argentina, what Europe. Are your, what are your favorite places? Like the best crowds that you've been to? I had so much fun playing in Argentina. Argentina. The wow. crowd there is really, really into it, you know, they're really big fans. They, when, as soon as you are playing a track, in 10 seconds they know the name of the track. So they're really Those professional. Are your yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, and, and if you do some mistakes or whatever, they're really critic. So, it's it's a good, good, good crowd. So, what are you currently working on right now? Right now, I'm working on an album on Bedrock okay. Records. It's the stage I was playing yesterday. Yeah. I've been working on this for the last probably year. <laughs> it's kind of slow. Yeah. But I think I will have finished probably in May or something like that. Can you give us a little taste of what we're going to expect from that album? I think it's gonna surprise a lot of people okay. because I'm I've been doing, for example, usually I don't work with singers, but on this album I'm working with singers. Okay. I wrote the lyrics, yeah. and there is some kind of deep house tracks. Usually I'm more into techno, but I made some 
deep house track, really, really nice. And I made a really, really, really nice story. I, sure, I think the people are gonna love it because it's yeah. like, it's like a really like a story. To like a story. Yeah. Sure, and the titles. It's really nice. I think it have a lot of it has a lot of meaning to me. So it's gonna be like a love story. <laughs> so if you were to do, you know, a club, I know you said you had some lyric, you know, uh, singers in the track, but uh, who, who would be your ideal collaborator to produce something with a track with? I would love to work, for example, with. The people is gonna make fun of me, but I would love to work with Lana Del Rey. I love her oh, voice. Oh, I love it too. She's got a great voice. Yeah, and I love the. Of course, I love the producers. The um, Damon Albarn from Gorilla. Okay. I think he's so talented. Yeah. I think Lana Del Rey and Damon Albarn and Jack Lucon. What's called Stuart Price. Mm -hmm. They're really kind of commercial. It's weird that I say like those artists because I'm really underground, but I really love the work. So I really. Love it. It will be my drink. <laughs> so, you know, as a last shout out to our Soulatron fans, uh, what would you like them to remind, remember you as? Well, I, I, I love to, to make the people happy. Okay. So, that's my point. And feel something, not empty music, you know? Yeah, like, happy storytelling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, okay, like the people really feel it. Mm -hmm. Not like just put their hand in the air and you don't feel nothing, you know? Yeah. I think it's, the music needs to feel it with the hurt and listen yeah, to the earth. So, that's my point. Hey, I am Mark Martinet and make sure you check my interview at Soltran.com.